Uh, today in today's lesson, first off, I want to say welcome to another installment of the Alpha Academy where I'm going to be coaching guys, coaching guys on how they can do a couple of different things with their body. One is going to be building muscle, two is going to be burning some fat, and three is just about getting that confidence for these guys that I'm helping with coaching them right now on taking that shirt off and feeling confident at the beach, confident with their shirt off, and definitely feeling like that alpha male in the room or whatever circumstances that you are right now. So again, thank you to all my guys that are watching this video live. Live right now for my ladies that are watching i appreciate you guys checking in but this is definitely going to be more tourist guys and i'm going to be speaking about guys all right so let's get started off with today's video in today's video i'm going to be talking about four different things okay this is going to kind of be like a basic introduction to nutrition for my guys okay we're going to be talking about one proteins how uh, proteins are going to benefit your diet how including foods that are predominantly protein help us with um, one, building muscle, or two, losing fat. Second thing, we're going to be talking about carbs. The same thing when it comes to the protein. How do carbs, one, help us build muscle or burn fat? Two, three, when it comes to the fats, I know fats tend to have a bad connotation when it comes to exercising and working out, but fats are very important when it comes to having those kind of foods within our meals, all right? So uh, as well, and the fourth one, how do all three of those things um, all together with controlling those uh, make sure that we, again, get the goal that we want as far as one, building muscle, losing weight, and just getting confidence back and having a physique, having a body that we, one, respect and, and another one that we appreciate, okay? So, again, and starting off with the first one, okay? A lot of guys, we always talk about protein, protein, protein. Um, Think about a protein and what encompasses protein is at a million and a damn near billion dollar industry with all kinds of stuff that they have out in the market. Obviously, you have your regular foods that you're eating, but you also have supplements. With supplements, it comes to amino acids. It comes to protein shakes. What else do they have? Uh, branch chain amino acids. They have, um, they have uh, testosterone boosters. They have, oh my God, the, the when it comes to um, supplements it's endless the amount of products that they have for us to uh, that are all around protein for us to build and keep as much protein within our bodies as we possibly can the thing at the basic building blocks of protein predominantly our body when it comes to our bones when it comes to our muscles when it comes to our tendons when it comes to our ligaments are gonna predominantly be made out of proteins okay let me say that again when it comes to your bones, your muscles, your ligaments, your tendons, uh, all of those are predominantly at the basic building blocks that make all of these, they are made out of protein, okay? So when we are neglecting our protein intake, we are neglecting our muscles, we're neglecting our, our skeleton, our bones, we're neglecting our ligaments, our tendons, and that's when we tend to have issues with those um, body parts, okay? If we're not getting adequate enough protein into our body, they are first going to go to the organs that are needed, meaning the bones, the skin, uh, what else, the organs, to make sure that those are working efficiently. And then if we're trying to build muscle and we have access, then it will go to the muscles within our body when we are trying to build muscle for our body, okay? So always, always make sure that you are including protein into your diet for every single meal all right when it comes to having protein for your diet let's start off with breakfast very simple way for me i like to have eggs okay for all my guys i don't see any reason why you shouldn't be able to add in or have at least two eggs in the morning um, when i say two eggs in the morning some people are going to freak out and be like oh my god two eggs that's a lot uh two eggs is one is not a lot when it comes to two eggs you're going to get i think it's like Think might get like 40 or 50 calories for both eggs some people are going to freak out oh my god the cholesterol the cholesterol eggs have really good uh cholesterol in it okay it's also going to give us some healthy fats so don't worry about having two eggs in the morning if you have high cholesterol this is actually going to help your cholesterol and it's going to help get your fats right now when we're talking about cholesterol that means our fat if you have high cholesterol that means the fat content that's in your body is out of balance. Having two eggs in the morning is gonna help us get some of the healthier fat back into your diet, which is gonna help balance out 
your uh, your cholesterol levels. And remember, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think we have three different types of uh, cholesterol. Okay, I'm not going to get into details about that because that's more uh, advanced nutrition. This is very basic that I want to be speaking about. Talking about that was about breakfast. Um, Another way that you can get breakfast in the morning, I tend to not do it, but if you want to have some chicken in the morning, if you want to have some turkey in the morning, um, those, or if you want to have some fish in the morning, I've never really heard anybody having fish in the morning, um, but those are going to be more of our healthier options that we're going to have when we're having protein, animal-based products in the morning for our uh, protein, okay? You can always incorporate vegetables into your diet, especially when it comes to like um, having an omelet. Vegetables do have protein in them. They just don't have complete proteins, okay? And what that means is, if I'm not mistaken, I think there's like 16 essential, excuse me, there's eight essential amino acids. And I think there's 16 in total, if I'm not mistaken. I don't wanna be getting my numbers wrong. Um, Vegetables, sometimes they're gonna have like eight or they're gonna have 10. They're not gonna have the complete 16 that we need within our diet. You're gonna get the complete uh, amino acids from animal-based products, okay? Another uh, quick on-the-go thing that you could do for your uh, breakfast is going to be to make sure you're getting your protein into your diet is gonna be having uh, shakes, okay? Uh, for me personally, I have I've uh, done shakes. Uh, when I tend to do my shakes, I always recommend like whey protein powder. A lot of times people are like, okay, which one should I use? Which one should I use? Should I use this one, A, B, C, or D? My rule of thumb is this. Always try to go for the protein powder that per scoop is going to give you about 20 grams of protein. One, two, you want to watch the fat content. If I would say if there's anything over about maybe two or three grams, you want to kind of be a little careful with that one. The good ones tend to have, like I said, like one or two uh, grams of fat within the um, protein powder. And as well, when it comes to the carbs, the carbs are gonna be extremely low as well. So predominantly when you're having your protein shake, whichever brand you go with, it's gonna predominantly be um, protein, uh, protein that is in your protein powder, which is gonna be good for you. Uh, when it comes to flavors, if we're gonna go into that, I prefer uh, either vanilla or chocolate. Those are typically good staples when it comes to um, protein powders because sometimes you know when they're doing all these different flavors rainbow sherbet um what it like strawberry cookies and cream banana split banana cream you want to kind of be a little careful with those because everybody has their own perception of what those flavors taste like those might be good those might be bad, but I just always like to stick with vanilla and chocolate. And then two, when you're adding in other ingredients, when you're adding in bananas, blueberries, raspberries, um, what else could you add in? You're adding in your ice, you're adding in, um, I like to put it, use it with almond milk. I don't really like using it with water. I don't think it tastes that good with water. Um, when you're using it with those different ingredients, when you're using vanilla or when you're using a uh, chocolate, you're always gonna kind of be pretty good as far as how those ingredients mix together versus if you're using something a little crazy like rainbow sherbet or cookies and cream, adding extra bananas or adding raspberries or blueberries or strawberries or any fruit that you wanna add, it kinda might throw it off a little bit and it might not taste as good, okay? So that's uh, when it comes to your um, protein. Always adding it for lunch, always adding it for dinner as well is always gonna be great. Um, uh, CJ just said, I've been doing four eggs in the morning. Hey, so you're right there with me, dude. I do, I'm doing two eggs and two whole eggs, excuse me, and three uh, egg whites, okay? Um, if you're interested in exactly what uh, egg whites I'm using, um, I'll shoot you a picture of the egg whites that I'm using. I get mine at Costco. You can probably get yours uh, or something similar at Ralph's, Albertsons, or even Sam's Club if you go to those grocery stores as well. Uh, what about yogurt and the protein shakes? You could do yogurt and the protein shakes too. Yogurt is going to be pretty good. Um, when you do the yogurt, John, I would probably, again, depending on uh, the protein powder that you have, I would recommend uh, like a plain yogurt. And then two, what's dope about the plain yogurt is, is that when you use a plain yogurt, I would also tell you to use that as a snack too, bro. So plain yogurt, you can kind of put some in there. I would kind of recommend maybe like a cup or maybe a cup and a half, depending on if you're hungry or not. Throw that in the uh, throw that in the bowl, bro. Uh, I would say probably about a cup of um, uh, strawberries or about two or three different fruits that you like. Throw that in the bowl too. You can add some granola in there. I always kind of like a little crunch with uh, my yogurt. You can even you know uh, 
um, get a little swirl of uh, honey, and you're all set to go, man. Solid, really good, uh, damn near acai bowl, bro, um, as a snack. In between one, you could do that before your workout, you could do that after your workout, or even two, um, you can do that uh, as a snack in between you know, your breakfast and your lunch, or even a late night snack. That'd be a good late night snack for you to have too. Um, in the organic non-GMO eggs. So yeah, when it comes to uh, the organic stuff, for me personally, I feel like what's going on right now in the United States, what's going on in America with you know obesity getting higher. Yes, I'm always gonna recommend you know the organic route, but at the end of the day, if you're not even eating the regular eggs because you're eating something else that's worse off for you, then just right, I'd rather you just eat the regular eggs versus you, oh, I gotta get organic this or I gotta get organic that. Just people cooking at home, just people buying their food from the grocery store, taking their lunches with them to work, kind of getting back to uh, the ways that it were when I was a kid, when we took lunch to school. Granted, they did have a cafeteria at school that we could eat, but just taking our lunch to work, taking our lunch to school is gonna be 10 times better for us rather than always just focusing on organic this and organic that. If you wanna go that route, hell yeah, go that route. But I personally don't do that for myself just because I don't wanna always have to be like, oh, this has to be organic and this has to be organic and this has to be organic. Nine times out of 10, if you are just getting your food from the grocery store, you're doing 10 times better than the average person that one, isn't exercising and working out, and two, is not eating the foods that they're cooking at home and is getting 10 times the preservatives, 10 times the uh, antibiotics, 10 times all the junk that we uh, get when we eat out of the house versus when we are buying our food specifically from the grocery store. So um, I appreciate the comment, Vincent. John, keep coming with the uh, comments, man. CJ, I appreciate you, dude. Keep coming with the comments as well. And I'll keep answering those guys' questions, uh, you guys' questions for you. Um, carrying back on to lunch and dinner, always making sure that you're including some protein with that. For my guys, I would always recommend anywhere from about four to about six ounces of um, protein. I'm gonna call that four to four to six ounces of protein um, dry or without cooking it, or, or excuse me, after cooking it and after it's done and all you need to do is eat it. So as an example, uh, if you guys have a scale, you guys can get a scale from Target, Walmart, 20, 30 bucks for a scale. Let's say we cook some chicken, cook the chicken, you take it off of the pan, you you know turn the measure measuring um, device on, you put the meat on there, it says it's 4.7 ounces. All right, perfect. You wanna stay there if you would like, or if you wanna add in a little bit because you feel like that piece of meat is too small, sure, you can add in another piece, you know, cut it to make sure it's either between that four to six um, ounces of protein is what I'm gonna recommend for you guys. You get that spot where you think you like it, perfect, boom, right there. Take it, put it on your plate, and you're all set to go. I'm gonna recommend for you guys to have anywhere between four to six ounces of protein for uh, lunch, as well as dinner, four to six ounces, okay? You, gotta, you guys gotta remember that the protein is gonna do, especially when it's chicken, turkey, fish, uh, more more inside what I'm gonna say regard in, in regards to chicken and fish is gonna help. Excuse me, chicken and turkey is gonna help. It's gonna be the protein one, and it's gonna be the uh, healthy fats that you're gonna get from the chicken and the turkey. With the healthy fat, always remember for my guys, it's gonna help us promote uh, testosterone growth. At when we hit the age of 30, our testosterone levels tend to start to come down, meaning the baseness in our voice, one, um, our, t our uh, semen production goes down, the, uh, our muscle, we start, we start to lose our muscle, you know, every several years, our muscle, how would I say, our muscle uh, depth, our muscle density starts to uh, decline. So having chicken, having turkey, even having red meat too, is going to be, uh, it's gonna help us promote as well as keep as much testosterone as we can. Also, when it comes to our red meat, um, I don't, sometimes people always are like super big and are like, don't eat red meat, don't eat red meat. If you're exercising, if you're working out, red meat is okay. Don't overdo it. For me, myself, I like to have red meat probably about once a week. One thing with red meat is it's gonna give you a lot of iron. 
Sometimes, guys, we are deficient in iron. If we are deficient in iron, it is one harder to work out because we have to remember that the iron connects to the uh, red blood cells and it helps pull the oxygen throughout our body, okay? So if you are low in iron, in essence, you're kind of suffocating yourself just a little bit, okay? So if you are anemic, you're kind of suffocating yourself just a little bit. So with having red meat, for me, I tend to like to do that on Wednesdays, if I can, if I remember, because Wednesdays tend to be my leg day. Um, and I feel like it's always a treat for myself to have some red meat on Wednesdays because leg days are hard as hell. So, you know, if, when we can get a, a little treat at the end of our workout or before our workout that's promoting us to one continue to exercise and work out that it's going to only help us uh, continue with the workout one as well as achieving the results that we want to see which is building muscle losing weight and feeling confident with our shirt off okay um i see i got another question uh vincent you're right man the word organic is new um, little backstory, crazy. Um, I went to El Salvador with my girl and dude, literally all of their food, I'm going to say is organic, man. Like you see the chickens running around you, they, they had eggs guys. They had eggs sitting with the bread, man. They had eggs in the bread section of the grocery store. I didn't even know that you could have eggs and not refrigerate them. Um, the chickens that they have, when they, you know, kill the chicken, they cut it up, they have it like just sitting out and the chickens that we see are very different than the chickens that are, the chickens that I saw in El Salvador are very different than the chickens that I see here. Um, also another thing, is, another thing, when it comes to brown and white eggs, that does not matter the health of the egg, okay? It's just kind of like, I'm gonna just take people their example. You know, I'm a black guy. If I have a kid with a black girl, the baby's gonna come out with some color to him. That's basically, you know, our egg. If it's a white guy and a white girl, then they have a baby more or less the egg is gonna come out looking like, you know, them, the mom and the dad. So when it comes to chickens, the same thing. Some chickens lay brown eggs with spots. Some chickens lay brown eggs. Some chickens lay white eggs. Don't worry about when it comes, oh, I, had a, I have to do brown eggs, I have to do white eggs. That doesn't necessarily matter. It's based off of the chicken. Um, does the protein dictate the ounces we should be eating? Steak, chicken, fish? Uh, it tends to be no. Um, when, it, when you do come to steak, though, steak does tend to have a higher fat content. Uh, so when it comes to steak, if you're having a six-ounce steak versus a six ounce piece of chicken, you're gonna get about the same amount of protein, but you are gonna get a little bit more protein, a little bit more fat, and a little bit more calories with the steak versus with the uh, chicken, because the chicken is gonna have a, high, uh, a lower fat content than something like a steak, as well as fish. Six ounces of fish versus six ounces of chicken. The fish is going to have less fat content than the chicken is. So when we look at all three of those across the board, um, uh, what is it? When we look at all three of those across the board, steak is going to have a little bit more fat. It's going to be, have a little bit more calories. Chicken is going to have um, the same about the same amount of protein, uh, about a moderate. I should even say more or less amount of fat. Fish is going to have the same amount of protein, but even very, very thin amount of fat. When you when we look at a fish, you pretty much don't see any fat on the fish. When we look at chickens, you can see a little bit of piece of the chicken. Sometimes you can't even see any other fat on the chicken. When you look at a steak, obviously all of the uh, white part of the steak is going to be the um, is going to be the fat. And also, you guys got to think about it as well. What makes steak taste really good is going to be the fat. So when we carve off the fat, that's kind of like the juices that are running off of the meat that tends not to um, make the meat taste good, which is why sometimes people actually cook it with the fat, but then we just cut the fat or trim the fat off. All right. Uh, yeah, man, same with me, dude. They were talking about brown eggs are healthier, brown eggs are healthier. But again, it's just all about, um, it's all about uh, um, the egg, pretty much. It's, it's the egg, depending on what chicken lays an egg is going to be brown eggs or white eggs. The health of the uh, egg doesn't matter if it's what color of it is. Um, uh, no more questions yet. But okay, so yeah, pretty much, guys. Um, protein, protein. Always make sure you guys are including protein in your diet. Again, about four to six ounces, especially when it's coming to lunch and dinner, is going to be re really adequate for us to one, make sure that you guys are recovering after your workout, promoting testosterone growth for you guys so we can one, 
promote it so we can increase it if we can or two we can be able to hold on to as much testosterone as we possibly can now let's go to carbs all right carbs tend to have a bad raps okay we have all of these um all of these uh diets that are low carb this and low carb that and uh keto where it's damn near no carbs at all uh carbs at the bit at the bit at the basic component of it carbs give us energy carbs make us feel good okay our brain runs off of carbs okay so our brains run off of sugar when we break carbs down to its basic components it is sugar okay when it comes to carbs we have two different kinds of carbs we have complex carbs and we have simple carbs the healthy ones are the complex the unhealthy are the simple carbs what kind of healthy carbs do we have all vegetables are carbs okay i'll say that again all vegetables are carbs i know i just blew all of you guys minds so when people say i'm on a low carb diet the first question i want to ask them i don't ask them the first question i want to ask them how many vegetables are you eating a day and most of the time people are say oh i'm eating like one or two and i'm like i want to say those are carbs so low carb is in essence, staying away from the heavier carb foods, okay? So let's break down the complex carbs as well as I'm gonna break down the simple carbs in a second. So complex carbs, what are gonna be our high carb foods? High carb foods are gonna be like your rice, high carbs, gonna be your breads, high carbs, it's gonna be your oatmeal, high carbs, um, it's gonna be potatoes, doesn't matter what kind of potatoes, yams, um, uh, sweet sweet potatoes, red potatoes, gold potatoes, brown potatoes, rust potatoes. Uh, what other high carb foods do we have? Um, um, did I say breads already? Any kind of bread doesn't matter what kind of bread is going to be high carb. Uh, what else do we have? Pastas, yes, John. Pastas. When it comes to your pastas, make sure that you're doing whole wheat pasta. Exactly. I've seen a white chicken in my real life. A Google that says that white. Anything starchy, corn, you got it. John, you got it, dude. <laughs> John has it. Uh, so yes, all of those foods are gonna be high carb foods, okay? So are high complex carb foods bad? No, they are not. It's about how we incorporate those into our diet that makes them good or makes them bad, okay? What are more of the lower carb complex foods that we have one is going to be the vegetables okay any kind of vegetable is going to tend to be low carb complex foods broccoli uh what else do we have um cauliflower carrots brussels sprouts um asparagus onions um broccolini uh if i'm missing any you guys help me out green beans what else do we have um those any kind of sp uh, spinach Oh my God, there's so many. I can't even name them all, but pretty much all of our vegetables are gonna be considered low uh, complex carbs, which are gonna be really good for you, okay? Again, everything that I just explained is all complex carbs. Again, it's one group, it's a bunch of different foods that are all complex, as well as we have simple carbs, which are gonna tend to be our unhealthy foods. What are gonna be our unhealthy foods that we have? One is gonna be the uh, sweets. Anything sweet is gonna be simple carbs. When it's coming to, um, gosh, so many. Uh, what can I say? When Any kind of candy, chocolate, uh, white breads, white pasta. Um, what else do we have on their side? Uh, any kind of refined carbs, anything where they're bleaching anything. If we, if, if we look on the ingredients and it says that it's been bleached, meaning they're taking out the complexity to it to make it feel, uh, to make it taste sweet. Uh, anything that we eat that is more or less inside of a box is going to tend to be um, a simple carbs. What else do we have? Um, some fruits are very high carb too. Yes, you're right about that. Some fruits are high carb. Um, when it comes to the, uh, let's talk about that too. When it comes to the carbs, the, I always like to say fruits are Earth's version of candy, okay? One, you are going to get a lot of sugar. You're going to get a lot of sugar from um, like strawberries or um, any of the high carb, excuse me, high carb, any of the high, um, any 
you're gonna get sh you're gonna get sugar from any of the high content uh, fruits that you may eat. Yes, you are. You're gonna get a lot of sugar, and that's why sometimes people say you want to have fruit or you want to have a fruit bowl before you work out to help you with your workout as far as giving you energy. But the thing that separates fruit from the candy and all those kind of things are going to be the antioxidants and the vitamins and the nutrients that you're going to get from um, the fruit. Okay. When we're talking about candy, when we're talking about um, chocolate, when we're talking about those kind of things, you are not getting any nutrients from the, uh, the Reese's or the chocolate bar, the, the Snickers or anything like that. We're only getting one fat, you're getting sugar, and you're getting calories, and that's pretty much it. When it comes to the fruits, we're gonna be getting the vitamin A, the vitamin C, the vitamin uh, K, and all of the other vitamins that are gonna help our body function naturally with eating the fruits versus eating the candy, okay? So one thing when it comes to the monsters, the monsters I'm gonna recommend are so-so. When you need a quick pick-me-up like that, that's cool. One thing that you are probably getting from the monster is it's just giving you a bunch of caffeine. Um, most of the times, I'm not sure exactly which one you have, but when I drink a monster, it's just like you know drinking coffee. It's the caffeine. Depending on how many uh, milligrams you're getting from the caffeine, a cup of coffee tends to be about 100 milligrams of caffeine. You can get some that are like 150, 200, sometimes even 300. And that's where pre-workout blew up and it became its own industry on different pre-workouts that you could take that are going to help uh, you with your workouts. Okay. For me, I like to stay around that 100, 125 milligrams before for, for pre-workout when I need it versus uh, some of the other ones where I know one that it goes all the way up to 300 milligrams of um, caffeine per scoop. So that's fine, bro. Sometimes we just need a quick pick me up. It's just kind of like the five hour energies. If you need something like that throughout the day, uh, hell yeah, go for it. But just be mindful. Like you said, you're just getting some caffeine into your diet, which is fine. People do it every day. I think it's like, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's like half of people, you know, drink a cup of coffee when they wake up in the morning, which is fine. Uh, still talking about the carbs. So yes, when it comes to the carbs, we have two different options. Uh, we have, like I said, the complex and the simple carbs. We want to try to stick to the options that I was saying earlier, the complex, whether that be complex high or whether that be a uh, low complex. Okay. Always, always, always when it comes to your workouts, you can have a high carb and you can have vegetables for your lunch as well as for your dinner. Okay. I'll say that again. You can have your potato, you can have your rice for you for yourself for lunch as well as dinner and it's about it's all about how we incorporate those foods with that when it comes to the high carbs when it comes to the breads when it comes to the rice and it comes to the potatoes i'm going to say for my guys if everybody looks at their own fist everybody's portions are going to be a little bit different when it comes to your fist size i'm going to recommend for you guys to go no bigger than about three-fourths of your fist all right so if you guys are going to look at your fist right now if we probably take if we were to take off the uh, the thumb and the uh, index finger. That's pretty much about the size of car high carb that I want you guys to have. That's pretty much about the size of the high carb that I want you guys to have. If we take these two out, that's about how big I want you guys to have right now. Okay, for uh, lunch as well as for dinner, about that much. All right, the thickness as well. Okay, the thickness and the size as well. When it comes to uh, the vegetables, for the vegetables, I'm gonna recommend for you guys to have about a fifth size. A whole fist size and again everybody's measurements are going to be a little bit different cj i know for a fact your hand is bigger than vincent's so with your hand you're going to have a little bit more food than vincent is john your hand is probably going to be a little bit more in the size with uh cj so cj and john you guys's fist size as far as on their plates are going to be a little bit similar okay now I said that CJ's and John's are gonna be similar. What is gonna be the difference between you guys? One is gonna be the options that you guys are gonna choose, one, two, and it's gonna be um, your guys' workouts, okay? You guys' workouts are gonna be a little bit different. Therefore, I've personally been talking to you guys about your nutrition. Therefore, you guys' sizes probably are gonna be a little bit different as well. That is just a recommendation for both of you guys because I know you guys are similar in size, okay? As far as fist size, because I've seen you guys fist size. 
um, that is carbs, okay? And again, those are gonna be carbs for you guys in the morning, as well as that's gonna be carbs for you guys in um, the, for dinner, for nighttime, all right? So we're talking about three meals right now. That is carbs. Again, carbs give us energy, okay? Carbs are gonna help us get through the day when you guys are exercising, when you guys are working out, you guys want carbs in our diet because that's what's gonna give us the energy and the motivation to exercise and work out. When we are low on carbs, when you are not eating carbs, sometimes our moods will swing. One, two, you will have difficulty focusing because again, remember our brain works off of sugar. When we have those complex carbs, whether it be the rice or whether it be the vegetables, when our body breaks it down, it breaks it down into sugar, which helps us fuel our brain. It will also, uh, it will also make it difficult for you to sleep when you are very low with your carbs, okay? So that's the only thing that I recommend as far as with carbs. We need some kind of carbs in our diet because one, again, it helps us with mood as well as with our brain function. And the worst of them all when it comes to uh, the three different types of foods that we have is gonna be the fat, okay? I'm joking, I'm joking. When it comes to the fats, just like the other two options that I said, we have to watch how we are incorporating these foods when it comes to fats. When it comes to fats, there are, God damn, there are like, how many options are there when it comes to fats? I think there's, I think we have three different types of fats. Yes, we have three different types of fats, excuse me. We have uh, unsaturated, we have saturated, and we have monounsaturated. I am not going to go into details about those because that's a little bit more advanced. But when it comes to those three, we got to be careful of the, uh, I think it's the saturated, if I'm not mistaken, which is going to be the fat that is solid when it is at room temperature. So when we are looking at our steak, right? And again, I was talking about that white part. The white part is the fat. That's going to be the part where we need to be a little cautious of, of how much of that we're eating within our food. Where do we get the healthy fats from? We're gonna get the healthy fats from the healthier foods that we eat. So when it comes to eggs, those are gonna be healthier foods. When it comes to omega-3s that we get, especially with uh, fish, when we're eating fish, one. And it's definitely also gonna come from the type of oils that we're using when we are cooking our food, okay? When we are using vegetable oil, when we are using canola oil, which is a specific type of brand, when we're using, uh, what other kind of oils do I do not recommend? Um, I said vegetable oil. What other kind of oils? Dang, my fist is a solid six ounce steak size. <laughs> you got jokes, John. Let me look this up for you guys right now. I'm drawing a blank on this. Unhealthy uh, oils. Uh, soybean oil, corn. I don't know why I didn't think about corn oil. Um, sunflower oil, sesame oil, those are kind of the foods that we want to avoid, okay? What are the healthy oils that we want to, we, I want you to use, okay? It's going to be your avocado oil is going to be pretty good. Your uh, coconut oil that I have is going to be really good. Um, olive oil is also really good too. It doesn't matter when it comes to the olive oil. I know some people are like, should I do extra virgin or, or virgin olive oil? That stuff doesn't tend to matter. It's just about one, using the healthier oils for when you're cooking your food. That is a super easy way for us to get healthy fats within our diet. That's again, if we're having, uh, what is it? If we're having uh, cholesterol issues, it's going to help balance all of those unhealthy versus healthy cholesterol levels, and it's going to help you get healthier overall, okay? Also, when it comes to the fats, there are a bunch of different healthy ways that we can get fats into your diet. One is going to be from the healthier protein options that you're eating. When we're eating the... Um, when we're eating the uh, the chicken, when we're eating the turkey, when we're eating the fish, those are going to be the ultimate healthy ways that we can incorporate food into your diet. Be very careful with some of the unhealthy ways that we get fat in our diet. What are the unhealthy ways that we normally do? One is going to be from cheeses. Cheese is not bad. Cheese actually makes food taste good, but just be mindful of how much cheese you're putting on your plate, Okay. Um, another option of getting healthy fats are going to be if we do have a sweet tooth, having some of the darker chocolate is going to be a lot healthier for you versus milk chocolate. All right. So uh, for this isn't for us, but for the ladies specifically, when they're having those type of cravings um, due to the time of the month, I always recommend uh, dark chocolate because dark chocolate is going to help them as far as with their uh, their processes. 
what else um greek yogurt is also going to be really good for us as far as getting some healthy fats into our diet as well oops type that in wrong avocados how did i forget avocados um so for some of my guys that do like avocados i tend to like to have an avocado on a slice of bread i put a little season on there and you're set to go super easy i'm getting some carbs in there i'm getting some healthy fats with that breakfast as well and getting some seeds too uh what else is on there like i said dark chocolate the whole eggs Whole eggs are gonna be really good. Remember, I was always recommending whole eggs because that's gonna help balance out our unhealthy fats. When it's coming to some of the uh, the fish that we're having, you're gonna have one uh, fish that are white fish as well as oilier fish. For you guys giving an example, white fish is gonna be more like tilapia. If you ever look at tilapia, it doesn't seem like it's pretty dry, especially when you put it on the pan. It's pretty dry fish, it's a white fish versus some of the uh, fattier fish, which is gonna be like your salmon. Salmon is going to be a oily fish and it's going to have a lot of omega threes in it, which again is going to help us balance out our, um, our cholesterol. Okay. So again, for any of my guys that are having cholesterol issues, if the doctor says that you are having cholesterol problems, it is not directly correlated to, uh, you eating protein. It is the fat content that you are having with the protein that you are having or with the foods that you're having. He's talking about the fat. We need to lower the unhealthy fat that you're having versus the healthy fat. We need to raise the healthy fat that you're having. All right. Uh, we have nuts. I didn't even talk about nuts today. Nuts are always a great snack for you guys to have. When it comes to the nuts, people are going to be like, should I do unsalted or should I do salted? At the end of the day, I'm going to promote for you. To, I'm going to tell you to do the unsalted. But hey, if the salted, if the unsalted ones taste nasty to you, let's have the salted ones. Let's try to incorporate some of the unsalted ones. And eventually, you know, we'll get on that progress and on that path of you making healthier and healthier options. At the end of the day, for all of you guys, this is only the second week. This is about making a healthier choice day by day by day. And eventually, like some of you guys are having, I had uh, CJ's already lost. CJ lost three pounds in the first month, or excuse me, the first week, excuse me. Um, it's just about making those small steps day by day by day. And eventually after losing three pounds in a week, three pounds in a, uh, three pounds per week in a month, that's 12 pounds. If you guys do that for two months, that's 24 pounds. Then you guys are completely, you know, having a whole life transformation just from making small changes per day. So that's all I'm recommending for you guys to do when it comes to the proteins, the carbs, the fats is going to be to adhere to what I'm asking and the advice that I'm giving you guys. You guys are already seeing results from what I've been showing you guys. I'm going to start to post you guys' videos, you guys' foods, and the progress that you guys have been having over the last two weeks within uh, my Instagram and start to show you guys some of the feedback that I've been giving from some of you guys that are watching these videos and doing exactly what I'm saying. You guys have been doing an awesome and amazing job. I really appreciate all you guys. Uh, CJ, I appreciate you with your post, dude. Your food sometimes be looking better than mine's, man. John, dude, I appreciate you, man. I see you over there freaking helping David get out to the gym, dude. Keep it up. Vincent, keep up with your workouts, man. We made some changes to your workouts. Keep going with those. Tim, I see you working hard, man. Shane, keep sending me those pictures. Uh, I'm so proud of uh, Greg. Greg just got a membership, man, two weeks ago, and he started two weeks, and he's already been working out. Devin, keep doing your workouts, man. All of you guys, keep going. I'm watching you guys. Jacoy, keep doing what you're doing. We made some changes. Uh, am, am I missing out on anybody, man? Anash, I see you, dude. Keep doing what you're doing. I, I enjoy uh, seeing your progress from the weights that you've chosen to now the weights that you guys are doing. Keep going, guys. I'm watching all of you. I really appreciate all you guys. I'm loving the results and the success that you guys are having thus far on this program. It really pumps me up, and I always look forward to doing these live for you guys and having you guys check in and uh, seeing you guys' progress thus far. So keep going. I appreciate you guys so much. If you guys need me to do anything for you guys, please shoot me a text. Um, or shoot me a call. I would love to talk to you guys about your program on ways that I can make it better for you. And I can make sure that you guys are continuing to see the results that you guys are already seeing. This is only uh, day 10. We still got three more weeks of this, guys. We still got three more weeks. 
And again, I just want to say I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all of your hard work. And I will see you guys in the next video. When it comes to... When it comes to... Uh, I just be getting hung real hungry sometimes. Dude, when, uh, so that's good. So you getting hungry sometimes is really good. That's telling us a couple different things. One, it's probably because you're building a little bit more muscle now, which is awesome. And it's telling us that your uh, metabolism is getting faster. When your, metabolism, when your metabolism is getting faster, you're burning more uh, calories just uh, sitting here just like this, which is not only one going to help you build more muscle and lean you out a lot faster, but it's also going to help you uh, burn more calories too during your workout as well as when you're going to work. So that's perfect um, for you. Uh, CJ, I will kind of start to recommend for us to start to probably have a little bit more food um, in your diet. The two choices that I'm going to have you have a little bit more of is going to be the protein and the uh, vegetables. Okay. So for you, CJ, if you're watching this right now, I want you to start to include a little bit more protein, whether that be chicken, turkey, or even uh, steak, if you're having some steak and uh, some more vegetables within your diet. When it comes to the uh, heavier carbs, I don't want you to incorporate that yet. Stay away from adding any um, uh, rice, breads, pastas, uh, and potatoes. Keep your high carb complex foods that we've been talking about today where they are. Only add protein and vegetables, okay? So yes, uh, you. There are a lot of documents out and a lot of uh, documentaries about organic. You are absolutely right. Again, um, we're with what we have. We got to do with what we have at this moment, at this time. If I were to get into super details about uh, organic this, organic that, it'd be that's that's probably like two, three videos on different companies and different brands, and we got to research all of that kind of stuff. At the end of the day, right now, we are focused on people, one, seeing the changes that they want to see with their bodies with what we have that is accessible to us right now. If I were to go into specific details about this company does it this way and this company does it this way, and I'm speaking about brands that we find in the grocery store, that's a whole big um, explosion of different uh, research that we would have to do based off of how this company plants this and how this company uh, raises this cattle and this and therefore all of that kind of stuff. So at the end of the day, uh, what I'm promoting for you guys, one is for you guys to uh, make sure you guys are incorporating protein into your diet. One, two, you guys are making sure to have the uh, correct amount of vegetables within your diet as well and incorporating healthy fats in your diet. All these three things are going to help you guys, one, achieve the results that you want to see, which is building muscle, leaning out your body, one, Two, you guys being healthy and having a sustained, healthy, and happy lifestyle that you guys can, one, continue to uh, take care of you guys' family and be comfortable taking your shirt off. And three, this is about us being alpha males, about us taking back our lives and being comfortable within our own skin. Uh, I appreciate you guys so much again for watching this video. If you guys have any friends that need to jump on board, of doing this. I really appreciate you guys reaching out to them and letting us know, letting them know what's going on right here with uh, my Facebook group. Always, always guys reach out to me. If you have any questions, if you need help with anything, I'm always there to help you guys. Uh, last but not least, I made sure to send all of you guys your bi-weekly uh, Alpha Academy check-ins. Please make sure you guys answer those questions for me. Get those back to me. I would love to get on the call with all of you guys to talk about that questionnaire on what you guys been doing for the last two weeks, just so one, I can better help you guys for the next three weeks that we have together. Again, I did send that to all of you guys. Make sure you guys check your messages and answer those questions and get back to me. Again, I'll be expecting to talk to all of you next week about what we've been doing for the last two weeks and what we're going to do for the next three weeks. Peace out. I appreciate all you guys. I'll talk to you soon. You guys have a great weekend. Love you guys. Peace out. Peace out.